distinguished civil rights leaders, members of Congress, and fellow citizens fought, rallied, and organized from the streets of this nation, the halls of our capital, to advance the cause of justice. Fifty years ago, Dr. King shared his dream with the world and described visions for a society that offered and delivered the promise of equal justice under law. He assured his fellow citizens that his goal was within reach, so long as they kept faith with one another and maintained the courage and the commitment to work toward him. And he urged them to do just that. I call for no more and no less than equal justice. By standing up for the civil rights to which everyone is entitled, and by speaking out in the face of hatred, violence, and defiance of those who sought to turn them back with fire, and bullets, and bombs, for the dignity of a promise kept, the honor of a right redeemed, and the pursuit of a safe truth that has been woven in the history of our nation's country, that all are made equal. That those who marched for Washington in 1963 have taken a long and difficult road. But Montgomery, Greensboro, Birmingham, Selma, and Tuscaloosa. They marched in spite of animosity, oppression, and brutality. Because they believed in the greatness of what this nation could become and despair of the founding promises not kept. Their focus at that time was the sacred and sadly unmet commitments of the American system as applied to African Americans. As we gather today, 50 years later, their march is now our march and must go on. And our focus has broadened to include the cause of women, of Latinos, of Asian Americans, of lesbians, of gays, of people with disabilities, and of countless others across this great country who still yearn for equality, opportunity, and fair treatment. Dr. King, in other words, helped to alter the course of history, and his work provided the foundation for much of the progress that has followed. But this morning, as we recommit ourselves to this quest for progress, we must note that in addition to Dr. King, we also stand on the shoulders of untold millions whose names may be lost in history, but whose stories and whose contributions must be remembered and must be treasured. Surely those who stood on the mall in the summer of 1963, but we must also remember those who rode buses, who sat at lunch counters, who stood up to racist governments and governors, and tragically those who gave their lives. We must remember generations who carried themselves on a day-to-day -day basis with great dignity in the face of unspeakable injustice, sacrificing their own ambitions so that the opportunities of future generations would be assured. But for them, I would not be Attorney General of the United States, and Barack Obama would not be President of the United States.